Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do my salmon bites. This was another one of my recipes that I did for game day. Here I have a nice big old slab of salmon. Along with that, I have some fresh dill, some lemon, some mayo, some Dijon mustard, some slappy mama seasoning, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is cut down this salmon into cubes. You can just see me doing that here. Um, on my cutting board, I just want to make sure they're nice and bite size and in cube shape. So literally, this is like the easiest part. Um, I just like to kind of cut a slice like I'm doing here and then turn that sideways and then just cube it up. Very quick, very easy, and this is also a very quick and easy recipe. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish slicing up this salmon. And when I am done, I will be back so we can move on with the rest of the recipe. All right, I feel like you guys get the point and I don't want this video to be ridiculously long. So I'm gonna finish that off to the side. And when I am done, we are gonna move on. Here in my bowl, you can see I have all my cubed up salmon ready to be seasoned up. So we are gonna go in with our seasonings. First, I'm gonna start with some paprika, um, sprinkle some of that in there. And then after I use my paprika, I'm gonna go in with my Slappy Mama seasoning, um, put a nice sprinkle of that in there as well. And then I'm gonna do some onion powder and garlic powder. And then lastly, I'm going to finish that off with some salt and some pepper. Um, so those are the seasonings that we're going to be using today. And after you are done seasoning up um, your salmon bites, um, you're going to want to either get your hand that has a glove on it or a spoon, which is what I'm going to be using. And we're just going to toss this in our seasonings. You want to be very gentle and light handed with this. Um, you don't want to break the salmon apart. Um, so you can kind of just see me tossing it very lightly um, over and over again until I feel like they're all nice and evenly coated with our seasonings. And then that is pretty much it. And after we're done seasoning up our salmon real good, we're going to move on. All right, that's all mixed up and ready to go. As you can see here, they're beautifully seasoned. So we're gonna go ahead and start the cooking process. I'm gonna be using my air fryer to go ahead and cook these salmon bites. First, I'm just gonna spray it with some nonstick uh, cooking spray. And then I'm just gonna um, put these in my air fryer. Uh, you really wanna try your best not to overcrowd your air fryer. Um, I know some are smaller than others, some are bigger than others. So you just wanna make sure that um, you give the salmon enough room so that they can cook. I tried to make sure that nothing was kind of touching each other and that I, I evened them out as best as I could in my air frying baskets um, just so that they were not overcrowded. This will also make sure that they cook evenly and um, quicker as well if you don't overcrowd it. So my first basket is filled. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my second basket with my salmon um, and then I'm going to turn it on. So uh, to cook this, I am going to be air frying these in my air fryer at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Um, that's going to make sure that they crisp up real nice. It's going to uh, make sure that the salmon gets a nice golden, beautiful color. And obviously, we want to make sure that they're cooked all the way as well. So like I said, we're going to air fry these in our air fryer for 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And that will have them beautifully cooked and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my air fryer and cook my very first batch of salmon bites. While those are cooking, I'm gonna start preparing our dipping sauce. So in a bowl, I'm gonna get my mayonnaise and I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of my mayonnaise. Along with that, I'm gonna be adding about uh, one teaspoon or so of some Dijon mustard. And then I'm gonna to toss in my freshly chopped dill. This is about uh, two teaspoons of dill. And along with that, I am going to be juicing um, one whole lemon. So I'm gonna be taking the juice here in my little juicer um, gadget. <laughs> and I'm gonna be just getting the juice from one whole lemon. And then I'm just gonna pour that in there as well. Um, just a little bit of seasoning. I'm just gonna be adding um, a nice sprinkle of some garlic powder and that will give it a nice beautiful flavor. 
And then after I add that, I'm just going to make sure that this is mixed up. You want to make sure the sauce is nice and smooth and no lumps or anything from the mayonnaise or the mustard. So I'm just going to mix this nice and generously to make sure it's a nice creamy and smooth and silky consistency. And then we'll have a nice beautiful sauce for our salmon bites. So here it's nice and smooth. I went ahead and tasted it just for flavor and I felt like it needed just a little bit of black pepper. So I'm just gonna sprinkle in some black pepper too just for that extra pop of flavor that I was looking for. And that is it guys. Our sauce for our salmon bites is done and ready to go. So I'm just gonna set that aside um, so that we can have it ready for when our salmon bites are done out of our air fryer. Alrighty, it's been 15 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take our first batch of salmon bites out of the air fryer. Look how nice and golden they look. Oh my gosh, and I wish you guys could smell them. So, so good. I really hope you do give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out my salmon bites and place them on a plate. Um, just so that I can have them set aside so I can start cooking the second batch. Um, I am gonna mention while my second batch of salmon bites are cooking, I did place my ones that were already prepared in the oven on warm just so that they stay nice and warm. Um, if you wanna make sure that they stay nice and warm while you're cooking the other batch, I would just place them in your oven on a warm temperature or if you have a heat lamp or you know, however you guys keep your food warm at home, definitely wanna keep these warm so that they don't cool down and they'll be ready for your guests whenever you serve these. Um, so I'm just gonna finish uh, putting these on my plate and after that, I will set them aside and I will start to prepare my baskets for my second batch. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the process. I'm just gonna get my salmon bites and place them evenly in my baskets. You wanna make sure you don't overcrowd them, give them enough space to cook evenly. And like I mentioned previously, we're gonna be cooking these on 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And my second batch is done and ready to go. And they're ready to join uh, the rest of the ones that are done on my plate. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put these on that plate with the rest of them. And that is it, you guys. I mean, this was like the quickest thing. Um, this was one of the recipes that I made for Super Bowl Sunday. Everybody absolutely loved these. I don't even think that they made it to halftime. They were pretty much gone <laughs> before Rihanna even came on the screen. Um, so if you guys host any kind of birthday parties or get togethers or even for game day, this is a great appetizer option. I promise your family and friends will be raving about it and be asking you for the recipe. So definitely go ahead and give this one a try. I think you will all love it. And that is it. I'm just gonna finish putting the rest of my salmon bites on my plate. And I'm gonna put the uh, baskets back into my air fryer. And then I'm gonna pan over and show you the finished product. Here are our salmon bites, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. And if you did, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.